Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, how people lived 5,000 years ago in Chadar Hill, Western Armenia. Armenian President, U.S. Ambassador discussed current agent of bilateral relations. Newsweek, it is time the United States calls the systematic murder of Armenians from 1915 to 23 a genocide. Benefactor Hiral Hovnanyan has passed away. Erdogan is a dictator, a graviation of relations between Italy and Turkey. Armenian delegation to raise prisoner of war issue at upcoming PACE session. An entertaining event at the Makaravank Armenian Church in northern Cyprus. New York State University professor Sharon Stidman published an article in the Journal of Archaeological Science. The article examines information about the survival of people living in the border regions of western Armenia, showing how they have adapted their agriculture to drought. The study was conducted in Cheddar Hill. That is a unique place in western Armenia, which has been the permanent home of humanity for thousands of years. Studies show how people living in Yozgaz Cheddar Hill more than 5,000 years ago got used to changeable conditions. Humans, as talented beings, have been able to survive in the past in the face of challenges such as the changing climate. President Armen Sargsyan held a meeting with Ambassador of the United States to Armenia, Lynn Tracy, the presidential office told Armen Press. The current agent of the bilateral relations was discussed during the meeting. The Armenian president and the U.S. ambassador also exchanged views over the international and regional issues. Former State Department Special Advisor for Religious Minorities under both the Obama and Trump administrations has released the following article on Newsweek, calling on the U.S. to recognize the Armenian genocide. History matters. It is time the United States calls the systematic murder of Armenians from 1915 to 23 a genocide. Doing so confirms the historical record and reaffirms the United States' commitment to those suffering from mass atrocities. April 24, the upcoming Day Remembering Victims, provides President Joe Biden the right moment to set the historical record straight. The history is sound. Based in present-day Turkey, the Ottoman Empire undertook a mass campaign of murder against Armenians as well as Assyrians and Greeks, starting on April 24, 1915, running for eight years. Historians estimate 1.5 million Armenians died. It was no secret either. The New York Times wrote 145 articles in 1915 alone about the massacres. The full article is available on our website. Armenian-American philanthropist Hrad Hovnanyan, the founding benefactor of the Armenian Assembly of America and member of the Board of Trustees of Hayastan All Armenian Fund, passed away at the age of 91. As Armen Press reports, the former chairman of the Constitutional Court, Kagi Karutunyan, wrote an obituary on the occasion of Hrad Hovnanyan's death, noting that without Hrad Hovnanyan's selfless participation, the Hayastan All Armenian Fund would not be established. Armenia would not have the guarantees for security provided during the previous 25 to 30 years. The Armenian Assembly of the United States, which has played and continues to play a significant role in defending the interests of Armenia and Artsakh, would not have played that role. Dozens of programs related to the disaster zone, the Gori Stepanagert Highway, the development of Artsakh, the solution of other issues of the future and other vital needs of the Armenian generation would not have been implemented. Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi spoke about the protocol scandal in Ankara, which was connected with the fact that Erdogan was not next to the chair of the European Commission. Von der Leyen, he had to talk while sitting on the sofa, Euronews reports. In my opinion, the behavior of Turkish officials was unacceptable. I am very sympathetic to what President von der Leyen had to endure because of the Turkish dictator, Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi said in a statement. Armenian members of parliament are going to raise the issue of the prisoners of war who are held captive in Azerbaijan, as well as the Azerbaijani vandalism against the Armenian cultural heritage in the territories under its control. During the upcoming session of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe on April 19, of course, the number one issue will be raising the issue of the prisoners of war in different possible formats, both within the frames of the plenary session, the session of the committees, and in the political groups. The ongoing Azerbaijani encroachments against the Armenian cultural heritage are also among the key issues, which are not something new, but the continuation of a clearly defined policy. This issue is also under our spotlight, Member of Parliament Datevi Karabetzan told Arman Press. 
Cyprus leaders have condemned the techno-style music event at the Armenian church in Makaravank in northern Cyprus, according to OneLurer.am, the Financial Mirror reports. The historic Armenian Saint Makaravank is located on the Pentadactylos mountain range in north Cyprus under Turkish control. The joint statement of the spiritual leaders of Cyprus says, This is a painful act, a misuse a disrespectful treatment for the places of worship in Cyprus, cemeteries, regardless of intention or religion. The patriarchs emphasized that places of worship, tombs, were protected from vandalism and misuse. Such an attitude towards the Armenian monastery was strongly condemned by the U.S. Embassy in the Republic of Cyprus. Now we present you Khumar Parke by Vararak Inquirer of Artsakh. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.